it was in the middle of the winter when we did the holes in February and January and December and they had some god-awful working conditions. We hardly knew they were there. And the plumbers who came into the property were superb. They were in and out quickly that we went shopping and by the time we come back a room would be finished. You know, they were that good. And my experience was I've been a tenant for seven years with Shropshire Housing and I, in the same bungalow, in the same place, and I've experienced the worst of storage radiators, the very worst, where on Clear Hill in the winter, the um, electric fire had to go on every day at mm -hmm. four o'clock and didn't go off till I went to bed at night. So we experienced storage radiators at their worst. When the ground source heating was put in, because I believe you should know what you're doing with things and you should monitor what's happening, I kept a record of the meter readings during storage radiators and I still do during uh, ground source heating. I'm with what Scottish and Southern Electric and they, for the past seven years, have always estimated my electricity usage on a yearly basis so as I can set my, <coughs> excuse me, set my di direct debit so I know I'm not going to harm anybody. Under the storage radiators, they estimated that my annual bill was £997 a year. Uh, and up <coughs> And I paid that by direct debit. Last year, at about September, and Dawn's got the letter because I gave it her in case people didn't believe me. I had a letter from Scottish and Southern telling me that my bill for last year was exactly 50% less. So instead of 970, I used 520. Can I just add to that? <coughs> Sorry, if you think, can I just add, mm. add something else I might add to that as well? Is how much did electricity prices go up during that period? Well, I yeah, would say I, half of what would it be because I had you not had it not yeah. had the thing, then it would have gone from that nine because I a thousand and something. Because I take the time to look into these things, I negotiated with Scottish and Southern to have a fixed price contra contract for five years at a given amount, so the cost of the power coming in hasn't changed. It hasn't gone up, it hasn't gone down, it goes up. You know, so if you consider that my bill was five hundred pounds to make it easy, and most of you people pensioners, by the way, you take your winter fuel allowance off, and that brings it down to three hundred pounds a year. And if you're with one of the big six and you run any sort of benefit, and I advise people what to do, you can get what they call um, supplier's discount from the electricity company and they'll have to give you back another £140 a year which they knock off the bill. They don't send you a cheque, they knock it off the bill. Now, if you take that into consideration and um, I say Dawn's got the letter, I show Dawn about my... I live on Clear Hill in a one-bedroom bungalow fully central heated to over 22 degrees because my wife was poor. And my fire, which Dawn supplied me, which is on the wall, in the time I've had ground source heating, I've never been switched on, except for the coal effect. I don't touch the heating system at all. It's constant, and if I want the temp, if I think it's too hot, my housing officer will do it for me rather than me cock it up because I might do that. But she does it. But I've never touched it, it's never gone wrong. And I live on Clear Hill. Totally electric supply, cooking, washing, heating, cleaning for three quid a week. Now, if you don't believe me, it is true. Yeah, it's, true. it's absolutely spot on. And if I've got to advise anybody to, was I going to keep my radiators? Was I going to go to a conventional gas system? As far as I'm concerned, this is the greatest thing since life. You can go in the bathroom. You can go in the toilet, you can go in the kitchen, you can go in the lounge, and it is exactly what it tells you on the clock. It's 22, it is 22. And it, you know, 
I can't praise it enough. Regarding the company, they were magnificent when they installed it. They had terrible conditions, but except for the noise from the drilling and the fact that the roads were a bit messy. Joe, was, can you reassure people this is actually genuinely a tenant, not somebody I sent? <laughs> 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 